In this video, we are going to learn about the study of paramecium and uh, we are also try to understand the external characteristics of the paramecium and we also try to understand the classification of the paramecium. So my dear friends, welcome back to RNK Resolutions. So as I told you, this particular topic, it is uh, useful for the FYBSC zoology students and especially this particular video is important for the practical purposes. So again, the aim of our practical is to set up the paramecium characteristics. We are trying to understand the characteristics of the paramecium. <clears throat> so my dear friends, try to understand this paramecium, it is a very active organism, we can say. And this particular paramecium, it is the free swimming protozoans. They come under the protozoans. So this particular uh, paramecium, they are common in fresh water. Try to, uh, try to understand the habitat of this particular paramecium. They are found in the fresh water, but where, where the decaying vegetable matters are found. Decaying matter means what? The decaying vegetable matter means what? Those which are the vestige vegetables, which are thrown in the fresh water. So in that particular area, Paramecium, they grow abundantly over there. They are grow in a large scale over there. So paramecium, they are uh, found in that particular area. And paramecium is also found in a fresh water where there is an abundance of bacteria. There is a large amount of bacteria are there. In that area, paramecium, they are going to found. Now let's try to understand this paramecium, as I told you, they are very active. They are the active swimmer. They are the small in nature. Obviously, they are microscopic in nature. They are white in color and they are slightly elongated in nature and they are fast moving. As I told you already, they are the active swimmer. So it is looking like a fast moving object. So another important uh, thing regarding the paramecium, they multiply rapidly in a water. Try to understand they multiply rapidly in a water where the large amount of decaying organic matter is found. Large number of waste material is found in that area. They are going to uh, they are going to replicate or multiply very fastly. And again, where the bacterial population is high, in that water also, this particular paramecium, they grow very fastly. Now, let's try to understand the systematic position of this particular paramecium. Systematic position means what? The classification of the paramecium. So we are going to understand this paramecium uh, classification in a brief. So obviously, <clears throat> this particular paramecium, they come under the kingdom protista. Try to understand kingdom protista, sub kingdom, we can say protozoans. Then phylum of this particular paramecium, it is the ciliophora because cilia are found on the body surface. We are, we are trying to understand uh, this particular, what is meant by the cilia? What is the use of this particular cilia? But remember phylum ciliophora. Then class of the paramecium is the ciliata because many cilia, they are found on the body surface. Then subclass of this particular paramecium is the holotrichia. It is a subclass. Then uh, we are not, not uh, going in the order and family because this particular names, they are quite complicated. The genus or uh, genus name of the paramecium is the obviously paramecium. Paramecium is the name of the genus. And lastly, species. There are many different species are found. One of the most common species is the Coriantum. So the scientific name of the paramecium is the paramecium caudatum is the scientific name. Caudatum is the name of the genus. Now let's try to understand the external characteristics of the paramecium. So as I told you, already, told you already, this paramecium, they are found in a fresh water. So they are found in a pond, lakes, ditches, and 
stagnant water they are also found in the river so in short paramecium they are found in a fresh water then another important characteristics of the paramecium paramecium they are the microscopic animal remember paramecium is the animal and it is microscopic in nature for the visualization of the paramecium we need a compound microscope with the help of the compound microscope it is possible to see the paramecium's so when we look at the dimension of this particular paramecium then they measuring up to 200 to 300 micron in length this is the uh, this is the dimension of this particular paramecium then this particular paramecium they feed on the tiny protozoans try to understand what is the nour nourishment of this particular paramecium why they are found in the fresh water they feed on the different tiny protozoans then they also feed on the bacteria and they also feed on the bites of the animal try to understand those animals which uh, make a bite for the different animal so those small particles are released into, into the water that particular particles are eaten by the paramecium so in short paramecium they feed on the protozoans tiny protozoans they feed on the bacteria and they feed on the bites of the animals so when we look at the external morphology next characteristics paramecium they are look like a sole of the sleeper sleeper so jasa sole asto tasha paddhatiche te aplyala disun yetat so this particular paramecium it is also called as the sleeper animalcule sleeper cha shape sarke te aplyala disun yetat so it is called as the sleeper animalcule next characteristics of this particular paramecium it is streamline it is asymmetrical in nature remember paramecium they are asymmetrical in nature with well mark oral and aboral surface on the body surface so this particular oral surface and aboral surface we can identify because it is well mark on the body surface of this particular paramecium then let, let's try to understand the another characteristics of paramecium paramecium obviously this is animal it is a single it is a cellular so body having a cytoplasm cytoplasm is found and that cytoplasm it is divided into the ectoplasm and endoplasm so ectoplasm those cytoplasm which are found near to the plasma membrane it is known as the ectoplasm so this particular ectoplasm they are going to secrete the pellicle pellicle means this is the outer covering of the paramecium which gives the definite shape to the body so pellicle function they give the shape to the body and they also protect the paramecium because it is gelatinous material and this particular pellicle it is elastic in nature another important characteristics of this paramecium body is covered by the cilia number of cilia are found on the body surface i'll show the diagram in the last part of the video so cilia are found on the body surface and this particular cilia it is the locomotory organelle first function of the cilia it is a locomotory organelle for the uh, paramecium and it is also the tactile organ like a tongue it is a tactile organ to derive the food material into the mouth so these are the two important functions of the cilia then let's talk about the endoplasm of this particular paramecium endoplasm means those cytoplasm which is found inside the uh, paramecium so endoplasm it contain the reserve food vacuoles reserve food vacuoles are found different organelles are found such as the mitochondria golgi complex ribosomes then various crystals are found nuclei are found inside the endoplasm we will discuss the function of the endo, uh, nuclei later on then contractile vacuoles are found so these are the some organelles which are found inside the endoplasm now let's talk about the uh, nuclei as i told you there are two nuclei are there okay see nucleus are there so small nucleus is there which is also called as the micronucleus and the function of the micronucleus they control 
the reproductive activity of the animal or reproductive or activity of the paramecium so this particular small nucleus or micro nucleus they are bounded by the nuclear membrane it having a nuclear membrane and another nucleus is the large nucleus two nucleus is there small nucleus and large nucleus small nucleus they control the reproductive activity large nucleus which is known as the macro nucleus they are going to control the metabolic activity of the animal so these are the two functions of the nucleus large nucleus and small nucleus uh, i'll tell you again now this particular uh, small nucleus it plays an important role in the conjugation purpose as we can say uh, this is the important function of this particular animal then another important characteristics or external morphology it having a two contractile vacuoles this particular contractile vacuole which is used to maintain the osmotic balance inside the paramecium so contractile vacuole they maintain the osmotic balance or it having a osmoregulatory function then reproduction of this particular animal reproduction there are uh, two ways for the reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction asexual reproduction takes place by means of the binary fission we know this particular binary fission very well the cell simply divide and it pinch off the cytoplasm and then it going to form a two daughter cells or two daughter paramecium that is called as the binary fission and another mode of the reproduction is the sexual mode of reproduction by means of the conjugation so try to understand why these two reproductions are found in the paramecium sex oh sorry asexual reproduction takes place in a favorable condition when all the conditions are favorable when the food material is available when the temperature is proper all the conditions are proper then asexual reproduction takes place and when conditions are unfavorable then sexual reproduction takes place that is the conjugation takes place during the unfavorable conditions so these are the some important characteristics of the paramecium so on your screen you can see the definite uh, sorry uh, the diagram of the paramecium you can see here this one is the pellicle pellicle means this is the outer membrane of this particular uh, paramecium which gives the shape to the paramecium and protection then endoplasm is there and ectoplasm is there endoplasm which having uh, sorry ectoplasm which secrete the pellicle and endoplasm which having a different organelles found over there then there are two uh, nucleus is there uh, micro nucleus which plays an important role in the sexual reproduction and macro nucleus which takes uh, important role in the uh, metabolism then oral grooves are there uh, this is the we can say this is the mouth of this particular animal then cytostom uh, this act as a digestive system of this particular animal then food vacuoles are there food vacuoles are found inside the body of the animal then this is the anterior end or mouth end and this one is the posterior end then here macro nucleus you can see this one is the micro nucleus and this one is the macro nucleus which takes an important role in the metabolism of the animal then food vacuoles are found inside the body of this animal so i hope uh, all of you get clear about the paramecium and uh, some external features of the paramecium so please like the video share the video and subscribe rmg resolutions for more videos thank you bye bye